The workshop explores what light is, from a physics point of view, from cosmology, gravitational bending, how you can make music through light, all kinds of spectra of light, and we're also looking at the history of light, in particular through the Ordered Universe project, which looks at Robert Grossetest, a figure from the 13th century, who had these amazing ideas about what light could do, uh, metaphysics and metaphor, but also the reality of light in the world. We've got a blow-up planetarium, which is running every half an hour so that children and their parents, uh, and also bigger children, can come and see the, the planets all around them. We've got events where people can look at how medieval painters would have used pigments to make their illuminations. We've got demonstrations of how you would model a rainbow. We've got demonstrations of how gravity is affected by light at the outer reaches of the universe and at the centre of the universe, all to do with the Big Bang. There's a lot of different experiments from physics and from the humanities, which are basically trying to interpret what light means in the context of of humanity, I guess, and uh, it's very interesting because we're looking at how people have perceived physics or light throughout the ages and what we understand about it today. Medieval scientists tend to get dismissed sometimes. It's kind of uh, backward thinkers in, in an age known as the Dark Ages, but actually their, their thoughts were really sophisticated. And there's been a lot of work on, uh, on light, on colour, on, on rainbows, on, on optics. It's really informed current scientific discussions. The festival is being human and a really important part of being human is how we process knowledge, how we work about the world that we're in and having science here with humanities is a wonderful way of exploring that. The importance of multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary research but also how we communicate that to the public. Science needs a narrative in order to communicate itself and humanities is an important part of how science operates. One of the things that's striking about the day is the buzz, it's just the enthusiasm of people talking about their own subject and talking about the things that they're passionate about and people really really enjoying showing that to other people and being inspired by the questions that come back. Bringing music, which you usually hear, uh, into the visible uh, world uh, by using light is just a fantastic experiment. And seeing how, li how light works, how it's bent, how it's used, how it's polarized, I think you can learn quite a bit about um, physics coming here. A lot of times we're very involved in our own research and it becomes really focused, but when you talk to people you have to explain how this fits into the context of the universe as a whole and it just gives you a different perspective on the research that we actually do and I think it's also really interesting to see how enthusiastic people are about the research that we do and what exactly it is that we're trying to figure out about the universe. I'm very much hoping that they'll see that uh, this old distinction of the humanities, the arts and the scientists is an inappropriate one, it doesn't mean much. But the cruelest question you can ask a young person is, is she on the art side or the science side? I'm hoping they're understanding that there's delight in both our emotional aesthetic response to science and music and our logical response to both of them. That aesthetics don't just belong to the arts, they belong to the sciences as well. And that logic and thought and contemplation and calculation even, ask Bach, belongs to music as much as it does to science. I'd really like to go to university after seeing all of this and probably study light and science because it's, ju it's just so fascinating. A really important question is what we do in universities and how relevant that is to, to modern society. We're part of society, to have open doors, access to knowledge, this is really important. To have people coming in, having fun, enjoying themselves, seeing complex stuff presented in ways that are very accessible. This is a fantastic day and a wonderful advert for how we get the message out about what we do.